Hello! This video is talking about the central topic of the CRM section of Infusionsoft, the contacts. It is not only about the single contact itself. Furthermore, it talks about certain areas and functions that are directly related to the contacts. These are company records, tasks, notes, and appointments, and it is the commission program for advertising partners further called referral partners. More profound themes like tags, opportunities and the scoring system, which are also directly related to the contacts, will be discussed in another lesson. Let's start with a contact. All information that you get through the quick navigation can of course be found in every contact. This is why we will take a look into a contact record right now. Behind the first four tabs, all the basic information for each contact are listed. These fields show up when entering a new contact. Additionally, in the General tab at the top right, we have more information for the overview. Since Infusionsoft is an online application, please note that you always have to save any changes by using the green Save button before you leave the page. Otherwise, your entries will be lost. Under Linked Contacts, you can link other contacts that are linked directly to the respective contact so that you don't have to look for it all the time. Under Access Privileges, it is controlled which of your employees should have access to the respective contact. Please note that your employees are not listed under the contacts, but under the Users. Under the tab Tasks, the Tasks, Appointments and Notes are saved. With the Add buttons, you can compile new records, which will be entered in a pop-up window. Please note that as soon as a completion date is applied with a task, or the end date is reached with an appointment, the task or the appointment will no longer show up under Tasks and Appointments, but under Notes. The reason behind this is that past appointments or tasks are kept as a record and not as a future to-do and thus will automatically be saved as a note. Notes themselves are not dependent on appointments and are always kept under Notes. In the File box, you can store files, for example, a PDF price sheet. I will talk about the other topics in another chapter of our crash course. Under the menu Companies, you can summarize multiple contacts in one company record. Via Add Company, you can easily set up a company record. As always, don't forget to save. Let's take a look at an existing company record. Next to the general contact information, you will find information about existing subscriptions, invoices, as well as the total sales. Please note that this data is always linked to an individual contact and not to the company record itself. The company record merely offers a summary of the data of all contacts that are linked to the respective company. The same applies to tasks, notes and appointments, and of course to opportunities and orders, which we will look at more detailed in another video. Accordingly, you have to, at first, Choose a person from the drop-down menu that should take on these tasks if you want to add a task or something similar via the company record. The only exception are tags. A company has its own tags and does not reflect the tags of its contacts. Under Contacts, you can manage the contacts that are assigned to a company. Accordingly, the data under the company record linked to the contact appear and disappear. Let's get to an important subgroup of your contacts, your advertising partners or here defined as referral partners. Under the first two points you can manage your referral partners. Let's set up a referral partner to illustrate this. First we choose a contact from your contacts. As a name, we can repeat the same name or enter another label that the referral partner should be displayed under. The code is simultaneously a part of the tracking code as well as its username that belongs to the respective referral partner. 
With its username and the password, he can log on to the Referral Partner Center under this part of the domain. With a multi-step referral partner system, you can enter the respective parent partner. Let's set the status to Active and save the referral partner. In order that a referral partner has resources in his referral partner center, we will have to assign one or more commission programs to him. Let's click Add to add one and don't forget to store using Save. These informations for the respective referral partners are always accessible through the list of referral partners. To provide your referral partners with links, you have to apply the links in the referral tracking links. The code shows up in the URL of the link and down here I can determine if this link should only be provided to a single partner or a certain group of referral partners that are linked to a certain commission program. For choosing multiple programs you can press the Control or Shift key. When you're creating a web form using the campaign builder that new leads should log on to, you have the opportunity to integrate this web form into your homepage using the provided source code and state the link of the web form here. This way, your referral partners can direct new leads directly to the web form on your homepage and the connection of the new contact to the referral partner will be saved automatically. In order for your partners to use the links more easily, you can prepare them with pre-written emails and designed banners. Let's have a quick look at this. The resource order number determines in which order the templates are displayed to your referral partners. You can create the email yourself via the editor or copy an HTML code into the source window that was created outside of Infusionsoft. You can deposit the HTML template on your own server as well. In order for the prepared email to contain your referral link, which your referral partner can add tracking parameters to in his partner center, don't forget to copy tracking to the respective part in the email template. Here you can choose for which referral partners this template should display. The same applies to banners. Under URL, you can post the address where the banner you designed is deposited. If you don't deposit the banner on your own server, hover over the Home button and go to Files. After you uploaded a file, copy the link address using a right-click. In an editor window, you can delete all the parameters behind the ID. Now you can use the address for your banner. Lastly, you can apply pages under the Promotional Resources with which you can send your referral partners useful information. These, again, can be created using the editor or can be deposited on your own server. Different commission programs can be installed here. Here you can specify when and how much commission the referring partner should get and if the partners who facilitated the partner, the parents, should earn something too. If in your global referral partner settings, pay if unused is activated, you have another column here. Enter your commissions that you want to pay independently if one or more partners are involved here. How the commissions are distributed in this case may be read in the user guide. Apart from your general commissions, you can set expectations if you want to pay more or less commission for certain products or subscriptions. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the Referral Partner Center. This page is displayed to your referral partners when they log on. You can configure the welcome screen in your global referral partner settings.
Here your partner can configure the links you provided. A link will be defined by the landing page with a parameter for the respective referral partner. Furthermore, a referral partner can create ads which are adding a second parameter to the link if selected. So the referral partner's revenue is assigned to these ads in his statistics. Your partners can configure the same parameters for the links that you configured in your templates. Your partners can copy the email text including the link or HTML source code from the pop-up in order to embed a banner. The information pages that you applied for your partners can be found under Resource Pages. Additionally, your partners have access to statistics and sales reports to measure the effectiveness of their campaigns. I hope that you could learn something from this tutorial and that we will see each other in the next video.